let's look at some power rules which is used when you are multiplying or dividing variables variables with powers so let's take some example so we are going to look at power rules so there are basically three power rules and we're going to look at the rules by examples okay so if you've got two variable or say this is x to the power 4 times x to the power 5 so these are two power variables these are two power variables with the same base okay you've got the base the base, this is called x is the base and 4 is the index and this whole thing is called a power variable or you can also call this power okay so x is the base so the base is x you've got same basis and uh, you're multiplying so when you've got two power variables which are multiplied you add the power so this the answer would be x to the power 9 just like that so if you i hope you have learned this so if you write this out so this you have to write it four times times five times so basically you're going to expand this expression if you write it nine times this is four times times five times so you're multiplying x nine times that's why you add the powers okay so what if it is say t t cube times t uh, squared times t to the power 4 so the same rule well these are power variables and has got the same base and they're multiplied so two things you have to watch out they have to have the same base and they have to be multiplied so you add the power so this is t to the power 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 4 is 9 okay what would happen when you're dividing suppose if it is x to the power uh, 10 divided by x to the power 4 so we just do the opposite of multiplying so here you got two power variables which are divided so when you got two power variables of the same base again one thing that you have to watch out is look for the base the bases are same and they are divided so you take away the power so this is 10 take away 4 which is x to the power 6 okay so let's do one more say what will happen if you've got 2 p cube times 4 p to the power 5 so here it is good to write it out so i'm going to write the numbers together so this is same as 2 times 4 times p to the power 3 times p to the power 5 so well you can multiply this and also simplify this so this simplifies this using the power rule well this simplifies to p to the power 8 so your final answer would be 8 p 8 8 times p to the power 8 okay now what happens if you got a power of a power okay so if it is say m to the power 2 raised to 4 so let me explain this without the rule so this means m squared this whole expression or this power variable has to be multiplied four times so m squared times m squared times m squared times m squared and now then we can ap apply this rule the first rule that we say the powers are sorry the base the bases are the same and they are multiplied so this is same as m to the power there are so let me write this out so this is same as 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 so that simplifies to m to the power 2 times 4 okay so that is you've got four lots you're adding four lots of 2 is same as 4 times 2 or 2 times 4 which is m to the power 8 so if you apply the rule if you understand the rule so basically when you got power of power so remember when you got 
a power variable raised by a power, you multiply these powers. So, well, that would become m to the power 2 times 4, which is m to the power 8. Okay, and suppose if it is, say, 2, uh, 2 m squared to the power 5. So, this is basically 2 so m has 2 has a power of 1 so this is 2 so you're multiplying the powers so you have to multiply this 1 to this 5 so this is 1 times 5 so let's apply the rule and m raised to 2 times 5 well so this is 2 to the power 5 times m to the power 10 20 and I hope you know you can use a calculator if you don't know 2 to the power 5 is multiplying 2 5 times so that is 32 m to the power 20 oh I made a mistake here sorry so let me correct myself I made a mistake here always good to check so this is 2 times 5 okay so this is 2 to the power 5 times m to the power 10 so the final answer would be 32 m to the power 10.